Welcome to the Easy Technosis video tutorials. In this video, we will learn how to create different payment methods in Easy Absolute PMS. Let's quickly log in to Easy Absolute system. Once you logged in Easy Front Office, on the right side top corner you will see the username, so please click on here. Now you will find the list of available options. Please select go to configuration option here, to jump from front office to configuration of PMS. Here, now we have redirected to easy absolute configuration panel. To create payment method we have to go to masters and, general, and, pay method option, to add a new pay method. Let's click on the Add Payment Method button and enter the particulars here. In the first box, you can give any short code for the payment method. For example, you can give the short code as CC for the credit card like way. Let's go ahead and enter the payment method name as credit card in this box. In the type, you can either select cash or bank, depending on the mode of the payment received. Methods like credit card, debit card, bank transfer, will go under the bank method. So let us select bank type here in the type selection. Following with next options, the card processing checkbox available, which has to be checked if you are charging any processing fees on card payments. Please note once you check mark on this option, you will have to make the surcharge settings accordingly. The next option is Consider it as guest deposit. It has to be checked if you want to consider the payment method adding here, as deposit payment from the guests. The next available setting is receipt number setting which has three options available. If you select auto general, the receipt number of the payment receipt will be system generated automatically as the next number in the sequence. If you select auto private, the sequence for the receipt numbers will be managed separately for this particular payment method. Like adding a prefix for that payment method to identify at reports level. If you select manual, you have to give a random number to the receipts manually, whenever accepting payments under this payment method. After entering all these details, click on the save button. This is how the payment method should be added in the PMS. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video please click on the like button. Or if you would like to share your valuable feedback please write it on email address cm at